You gonna be big. Yeah. Straight up. You gonna be big. Go to TV. You gonna be big. Straight yeah. up. And that's how that in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. As stated, and we must always be mindful that we must continue out the revolutionary spirit of all of our ancestors and all of our prophets. And all of them was on one mission to disestablish the crooked empire that was oppressing all the people. So as stated, we have to feel the need to understand our plight and quest for freedom by any means necessary. Because when we look at this whole establishment, we have to see deeply and look deeply into the situation. And when we look deeply into the situation, when we look deeply into the situation, we realize the first commodity was sold was through the slave trade, the silk, the slave trade market. On December 14, 1711, a law was passed by the New York City Common Council, made Wall Street the city's first official slave market for the state and rental enslaved African and Native Americans. Still in effect today, in 1933, House Young declared the United States bankruptcy. It was President Roosevelt himself stated, it is an established fact that the United States federal government has been dissolved by emergency act of March 9, 1933. Declared by President Roosevelt. And we know what insolvent means, unable to pay your own. Being bankruptcy, declared bankruptcy. So what did they use? We have to keep in mind the system in which they established on us. Came back and ran the same game of old on us. Created and established the banking system. And through that, they created the birth certificate system, changed the language in it from person, from a natural living human to a corporation. So that's what they have reduced it onto a corporation. And in understanding that, in the name of Almighty God, you still have the right to declare your sovereignty and file for your dissolvency. Louisiana, for example, have the Best sovereign status that's gone. This state constitution in 1974, Article 1, the Declaration of Right. Section 26, State of Sovereignty. The people of this state have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves as a free and sovereign state and do and forever and hereafter share exercise and enjoy every power, jurisdiction, and rights pertaining thereof, which is not or may not here and after be by them expressed, delegated by the United States of America in Congress. It's simple. They're letting you know your rights. You just have to claim it in the name of 
God. And if you understand sovereignty, sovereignty is basically saying that you're the supreme ruler. Possessing supreme or ultimate power. Was it for the sister? Black woman. She is called female, a female sovereign. The synonymous to that is queen. Ruler of her own kingdom. So in understanding these process, we have to understand that we have to claim our jurisdiction and claim our freedom in the name of God. Because all of this that they have put before us is just basically an illusion. The money is no good. When you could declare bankruptcy in 1933, you ain't had nothing to back, back you. So what did you use? You used the paper. You enslaved the masses of the people all over again by utilizing their birth certificate through the Wall Street process, registering it, giving it a social security number, and the people have been electronically slaved all over again. But they're so caught up with the distraction and illusion, thinking that they're free and thinking that they have anything, and we really don't have anything. Nothing at all. The money is no good. The paper money is no good. If they're going to give you anything, they should give you your worth in gold. Pay you in gold. If you ask him to pay you in gold, he can't do that. Because he don't have anything to stand on. He don't have anything to back him. He pledged you. He pledged us. The birth certificate. He registered you. All these professional athletes, singers, entertainers, movie stars, these debtors. Corporation. You're not free. That's not a blessing from God when you get a hundred million dollars or a billion dollars or a trophy. No. That's a, that's, that's a gift from the devil. Anything that's given from God is freely. Creative with your own energy. See, they didn't lock down our five senses. Our rings. So we can't channel our energy in which we're supposed to channel our energy. We utilize our energy all for the wrong purposes. Those five rings around your ears, around your mouth, around your eyes, around your nose. The senses. Thing about you, when they capture that, they capture your ability to feel, see, and hear Almighty God talking to you. Because we're so distracted and caught up into the illusion and the game in which He has created before us. It's all a game, it's all an illusion. That's all He gives you. Why you think you see so many little brothers around here with all that fake money on their neck? It's, it don't have no value to it. It don't have no real value to it. If you ask him, can I turn all this fake money in for gold, he can't compensate you. He can't give you what you worth. He could never give you what you worth. Because you was a living God in front of him. That he can't do anything with. But in the name of God. It's a need for us as a people. To establish ourselves. To be Sabakun out front. Universal leaders. Community leaders, true community activists, understand there's a need for Mumuwe Abu Jamal to be out. 
Matula should call. It's a need for our political prisoners to be out. They're going to give you the education, the proper education. We don't get that. We get reactionaries. We get watered down version of our struggle. Our struggle is universal. One goal, one aim, one heartbeat, one goal. In the name of freedom, justice, and equality. In the name of God. We can't be a contradiction to ourselves, our people, and our God. Because we will meet our God face to face. We will meet our God face to face. Something we can't run away from or hide. We have to change our thought pattern. We have to understand that we is more important than any other individual on this planet Earth. We is a factor. Everything around you, you created, you built from nothing, from scratch. And you can't get compensated for your service. Other than a ring, other than a trophy, other than to say I'm rich, what have you done for your community in which you came from? Each one teach one, each one reach one. You shouldn't have to get no permission from no one to do for self. No one, as a black man, you have to look deep in the mirror and realize that Michael Jackson wasn't talking to you. He was talking to that white man, letting him know, you come for me. It's like Moses stuck his hand and showed Pharaoh the whiteness of his. Mike just manifested itself to show you that you come from me. You can always take the receptive from the dominant, but you can never take the dominant from the receptive. It's a fact. So you have to live with that every day. Looking at your guilt and your shame. It's the reality in which Mike showed you, showed us all our messengers and all our angels and all of our prophets are constantly being destroyed. Right before our eyes, we don't even appreciate each other. As human, as people, as gods, we don't respect this universe. Because if we respect this universe, we respect the black woman, the creed of this universe. We could ride no higher than her. We have to give her her respect, too. She has to leave this struggle. She has to understand that there's no tomorrow without her. And that black man must understand there is no tomorrow without her. None whatsoever. That's a fact.
that effect. So we were must fly in those energy rings. As, because as it stated, we allow the system to control our energy and toy with it as the week as they see fit. The five rings of the Olympics your five senses. Your ability to control the wind, your ability to control your thought patterns and just focus on the mission that you is up for, all of that energy is given to that one particular event. Are you? On a football field or on a basketball field. Basketball court. We're constantly exerting energy that could be applied in other areas. In areas in which to recharge ourselves. Open our minds up. Clear our thoughts. Let our mind be free. As intended by Almighty God Allah. We have to be free. By any means necessary. Stay at it, man. Go to TV. You're going to be big, man. For real. Follow me, man. Subscribe. For real. Yeah. You're going to be big. Yo. Straight up. You're going to be big. Go to TV. You're going to be big. Yo. Straight up. That's how that